I am so glad you're here for another episode of Mechanism Monday, where every Monday we write out the electron pushing arrow mechanisms for different organic reactions. In last week's video, I asked if you could solve the mechanism for this organic reaction. So if you haven't had a chance, pause the video now and try it independently. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'll give you another mechanism to solve for next week's video. It turns out that beta hydroxy acids are actually excellent precursors to generating 1,2 disubstituted trans alkenes. In fact, they've been using it for forever. This publication in particular comes from 1979 published by Moser and coworkers in what was effectively chemical communications. You can check out the reference right here. Some important things I want to point out before we begin is that this reagent, which is known as methane sulfonyl chloride, can actually be written as MSCl, and it's often used as a really great leaving group, and it can actually be used to replace alcohols with mesylates, which is what they're known as, as a good leaving group, because alcohols are not very good leaving groups. What's more is pyridine looks like this. It is a heteroaromatic compound that contains three pi bonds and it actually can be used to act as a base because protonating this nitrogen position actually doesn't disturb the aromaticity because this lone pair of electrons is not in conjugation with these pi electrons and therefore does not impact aromaticity. And since now you know that we have a base and we definitely have an acid in the form of this carboxylic acid, the first step of this reaction is going to be to de deprotonate that acid to give us an acetate at that position. Instead, an SN2 reaction can occur at that position to generate a very good leaving group in the form of this mesylate. And since we formed a very good leaving group, the neighboring alcohol can actually act as a nucleophile and do a displacement reaction where you kick off that mesylate group. And in doing so, this generates a four-membered ester, which we typically don't see very often. And from here, this four-membered cyclic ester can actually undergo a retro 2 plus 2 reaction. And the driving force for this is that you're liberating CO2 as the product. And this newly formed gas can just leave the system, allowing us to form our alkene in high concentrations. This is an elegant yet simple simple reaction to form 1,2 disubstituted trans alkenes. If you enjoyed this week's mechanism, give it a thumbs up down below. And for next week, I'd love to see if you could figure out the electron pushing arrow mechanism for this organic reaction. Drop your proposal down below and make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you never miss out on another Mechanism Monday. I'll see you next week.